dear students let us see what is there in this question now a magnet connected to a spring oscillates above a solenoid with a 240 turn coil as shown the graph below shows the variation with time t of the emf across the solenoid with the time period t of the system shown it means that the graph is talking about already talking about the induced emf so we are no longer talking about what is the induced emf what are the formulations and all that so the graph is already given okay let us uh, see what is the question now uh, the spring is now replaced with one that allows the magnet to oscillate with a higher frequency so frequency has been increased uh, which graph shows the variation with time t of the current i in the resistor for the new setup so my dear students uh, reading this question like i can just say that it's quite weird because this kind of a theory or this kind of a topic is not in our syllabus not in your syllabus in fact it is like even i have not seen this kind of thing in, even in indian books um, because why i'm saying indian books because in our syllabus like our syllabus is very big that is why so this is a very peculiar question a very different question and it is employing the magnetic field created by the bar magnet now that is not there magnetic field created by current carrying conductor is there in our syllabus but magnetic field created by bar magnet that is not actually in our syllabus isn't it so one thing is clear that we need not to go into very much details into the question because it is clearly out of syllabus question kind of thing but let us see uh, if we are able to see this thing or not now the one piece of information that is given here is that the frequency has increased so if the frequency has increased doesn't it actually mean that the time period has decreased so if the time period has decreased so we can say like for the one oscillation yeah in the in the option a the time period has decreased from what it was earlier in this case the time period is the same in this case the time period is the same in this case the time period is shown to be increasing uh sorry uh in this uh, yeah in this also the time period is lesser my mistake the time period is lesser but now try to understand uh here they have shown that okay so first of all b is wrong and c is wrong now only and only the answer is between either a or d but we have to see what this i not value is so i not value yeah here you see this is the v naught value so corresponding value to this has been taken as i naught okay so in this case whatever was i naught whether it was lesser or whether it was more something whatever it was it was i naught so in the new case when the frequency is bigger the amplitude of the current has increased so you see the amplitude of current is increasing in this and in the option d the amplitude of current is not increasing but as per my knowledge whenever the frequency increases the magnitude of the emf induced is also increased why because if the frequency has increased clearly the time period is lesser clearly it means that the velocity with which the spring is moving has increased clearly the velocity of the magnet has increased and it is the experiment given by faraday that more is the velocity more is the rate at which the flux is changing more is the emf induced so clearly if you are decreasing the frequency there has to be a relationship that will say that yes the amplitude of the current is now going to increase so there are two informations that are required number one the time period should be lesser than the previous one and number two the amplitude of the current should be bigger than the amplitude of the current which it was in the initial case that is why we can clearly say that yes the answer will be a one thing is very clear about this question my dear students please understand this this topic is not in our syllabus it is not given in the book it is not given anywhere the formulas related to this are not given in the data booklet because this is actually not the magnet uh, the magnetic field created by the current carrying conductor it is a magnetic field created by a bohr magnet and that is not in our syllabus okay dear students this is professor varun i think things will be very clear i will show you the mark scheme whether the answer is a or not but i'm sure the answer should be a and yes clearly you can see here the answer is given as a my dear students i have already started uploading the paper two questions paper two questions so please join the youtube channel if you want to access those paper two questions all the best